Dover, Dover Demon is a small humanoid reported from Dover, Massachusetts. Subject of intense scare during the 1970s when multiple witnesses come forward with their sightings. It's described as looking like a grey variety of alien, set its rosy tan coloured skin is with it has a rosy coloured tan coloured rosy tan coloured skin is dead. It has a large head and a small stick like body. It can be bipodial, it often travels on all fours or switches back and forth between two modes of locomotion. It eyes that glow usually of orange or something green sometimes green, it does not seem to wear any clothing. Unlike the greys, the Dover Demon does not seem to associate with any UFOs, it just wanders around its own. Sighting The bizarre tale begins at 10.32pm on April 21st as three to 17-year-olds are driving north on Farm Street. One of them was behind the wheel of a Volkswagen, but something creeping along a wall wall of low stones on the left side of the road. At first he thinks the image is a dog or cat, two headlights shine on it. He realizes it's nothing he's seen before. Figure slowly turns its head and stares into the light. Two large round glassy lidless eyes shining brightly like two orange marbles. His watermelon shaped head resting on top of its thin neck. Is the size of the rest of its body. It sets its oversized head. The creature is thin, with long spindly arms and legs and large hands and feet. The skin is hairless, peach-coloured, and appears to have rough texture, like wet sandpaper. The person tells creaturologist Lauren Coleman, standing no more than three to half half feet to four feet tall, figures shaped like a baby's body, long arms and legs that had been making its way along the wall, its long fingers curling along the rocks, even the car lights, when, when the car lights surprised it. Fortunately, a person, or his companions, none of his uh, per, person's companions in the car saw the creature. The sighting lasts for only a few seconds, for the person can speak, the car leaves the sea. He leaves the scene, then Carl leaves the scene, the creature's gone. He drops his friends off and goes to Walpole Street home. Visibly upset, he walks through the door and he rather asks him what's wrong. He relates his story and later sketches what he sees. After midnight, 15 year old, another 15 year old, was leaves his girlfriend's house at the far at, at south end, end of Miller High Road. He starts walking home in the street on his way home. Half an hour later, he's walked about a mile. He observes someone approaching him. Because the figure is short, Baxter assumes his acquaintance is. He lives on the street. John calls, he calls out on spot, no response. And the figure, him and the figure continue to approach each other until finally the later stops. He then halts it and asks, who is that? The sky is dark and outcast, he can only see a shadowy form. Trying to get a better look, he takes one foot forward, and the future figure secure, scurries off to the left, running down a shallow wooded gully and up the opposite bank. As the figure runs, the person hears his footsteps on dry leaves. He follows the figure down the slope, then slope stops and looks across the gully, where he sees the creature standing in silhouette about thirty feet away, his feet moulded around the top of rock several feet from its a tree. The creature's body reminds the person of a monkey, except for its, its, for its dark figure eight shaped head. His eyes, two lighter spots in the middle of the head, are looking straight at the person, who after a few minutes begins to feel uneasy. Realizing he's never seen such a creature before, and fearing he might not do next, he walks back carefully up the slope, his heart pounding. He then walks very fast down the road to the intersection of Farm Street. There, a couple passing a car, pick him up and drive him home.